Did Anne ask Bloop? Why did Tasteful take so long to make? Welcome to Ask Blue, more from BlueBetterMesh.com. It's time for your questions. If you're new here, each Friday we answer audience questions directly from the comment section, mostly about animation or filmmaking. So if you're interested in that, subscribe to our channel. And now let's get to the questions. You're using Nuke for compositing. Do you think After Effects is better? As a professional visual effects artist, which software do you recommend? Well, I wouldn't say I'm a professional visual effects artist, but I do have a lot of experience with both programs. And I'd say a professional visual effects artist need to know both. After Effects is easier to use and is great for more basic visual effects stuff, like basic green screen and background replacement, though you can do much more complicated things. But high-end visual effects artists will probably use Nuke or Flame. I use Nuke only for 3D compositing, while I use After Effects for everything else, like motion graphics and some basic visual effects stuff. Neither is better than the other. They are both amazing programs for different tasks. Have you ever considered any other animation software besides Maya, like Blender or Source Filmmaker? I have, but Maya is just what I'm used to working with, but I also know how to use Blender if I need to. Once you know how to animate in 3D, it translates pretty easily between programs. On my next big project, I might use a different program because I'm not gonna be the one doing any of the actual 3D work on the next project. So it will depend more on my team's preferences than my own. Why did it take so long to make Tasteful? It was mostly because we were working with such a large team working on their spare time, which means people took longer to do whatever it is they needed to do. Plus the project itself was bigger than anything I've done before. We had a ton of models, two main characters and 11 background characters, not to mention the park and all the trucks and a ton of little props. It just took time to create all of those assets. And then rendering took a couple of months and animation which was done by one person, myself, was another few months. And don't forget that through the entire production, I was also running a business which included producing a lot of courses that are available on our website and a lot of content like articles and making weekly YouTube shows. Making the film was definitely a part-time project for me in terms of the time I had to spend on it. I believe that if I had a team of six to 10 people working on this full-time, it would be able to be done in less than six months. And if you have any more questions about that or anything else, write them down in the comment section below. Make sure you are subscribed to see if your question was answered. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.